it's nourishing, it keeps you fit, it's good for the environment, but most of all, growing your own is good fun. It's fun because it's a social activity. This garden was created by members from the Gorilla Gardening Movement, who each have their own unique troop number. 1046-155-001-2110. Their mission is to green bits of London the authorities have neglected. And their leader, Richard Reynolds, is an advertising executive with a passion for green promotion. OK, so what we're doing tonight is a maintenance mission. We've got a few new plants and we've got a scattering of weeds amongst this shrubbery and herbaceous border. And it's about more or less replacing where the weeds are with these plants. They advertise themselves with beautiful landmark gardens like this one on a roundabout in Blackfriars Road. It was a knee-high weedy overgrown mess which we completely cleared out. It was a blank canvas. Another one that the authorities have taken absolutely no interest in, but I know a lot of people have noticed it. They buy cheap plants in bulk, they accept donations from anywhere. I'm planting some cosmos in to the front of this bed. Cosmos are brilliant because they really don't need much watering at all. They've got these tiny little leaves that keep the water inside the plant. They do run into trouble with the authorities. It could be argued that they're causing criminal damage, but usually there's a sensible truce. We do it at odd times because we don't want to embarrass the authorities. We don't want to have that face-to-face -face confrontation with them. It's difficult for them to give us permission because it's too much responsibility on their shoulders uh, and it's impossible for us to get it. We enjoy gardening and I'm quite happy for them to continue neglecting the land as they were before because that enables us to go and garden it as we want to. So it, it, it's a real win-win situation. This is their most famous garden in Westminster Bridge Road, where they've transformed a weedy traffic island into the London Lavender Field. While we were filming there, we came across a freelance gorilla gardener who prefers to keep his identity secret, as he's secretly planted in the tree bowls. I loosen up the compacted soil, uh, often just with a large screwdriver, that's a very good tool, so that the water can actually get into the soil. And then I scatter different seeds, often this year I've used lupins and scorpion weed for example. They root deep, improve the soil quality and break up the compacted soil. I've taken up gorilla gardening and uh, I used to be more furtive about it and did it in the cover of night, but I've become more brave about it and I do it in daytime now. Just a bit of green and colour on the eye, I think it's good for everybody. Good for everybody and encouraging news for the Gorilla Leader. That's brilliant news. That's very encouraging. That's, that's one of the aims of what we do, to encourage other people to get out there and make this land their own. It's a battle against vandals and vagabonds, and mostly they feel victorious. I try and be philosophical about it and just see that as part of the challenge. <laughs> Learn to love litter. Learn to discover what people are eating and drinking in your area. And um, you know, I find half-finished bottles of vodka here sometimes. It's useful to clean the windows with. Yep, it's all about making the best of things. That could be watching TV, I suppose. It's just, uh, it's fun. Gardening's quite enjoyable. Uh, it's a nice day, a nice way to spend the evening. Um, we don't own a garden, so, uh, so we garden where we want. I like being outdoors, and I'd much rather be outside doing some gardening than sit at home in front of the computer. It's a nice, cheap way to spend the evening. It's a nice way to catch up with people and you, know, you chat as you garden, so it's a good way to catch up with friends. It doesn't cost me much, it is healthy, I'm not drinking or eating, I'm actually exercising, so there's lots of good reasons to do it.